Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Investor More, and I am at the complex again, and this is sort of a compilation video because we have another unit vacant at the complex. We can take a look at it, see how it looks inside, see how the tenants left it, but we've had four units go vacant over the last month or so, and so I was going to show the other four and talk about the complex and what's going on there before we see this final studio unit. So um, the complex is a five unit kind of old motel that was converted to multifamily and it has two houses too, a studio and a three bedroom. And so we had all of these units except for one move out. And then we have the studio that just moved out. And then we have this house that still has tenants in it. And we actually had tenants in one of the units who weren't paying rent and who I thought we might have to evict who then paid rent, said there's some mistakes and they're all caught up and doing just fine now. So we'll see how all of this goes. But um, there's a reason why it might have been okay that everything was vacant at once, but I'm not so sure, and we'll talk about that too. So this is one of the units that was, it was left in okay shape. This is a tenant who was always behind on rent, always had a ton of excuses, but could have been way, 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 way worse. And um, we'll walk through this tenant, this unit, sorry, while I talk about the complex. Uh, we paid 550,000 for it almost two years ago now. That's crazy, it's been that long. Spent probably $300,000 rehabbing it. When we bought it, it was just a crazy mess with people. We had to do a 500 tire eviction. If you guys missed that, that's an amazing video to go watch. Had to do some cash for keys. Rehabbed all the units. Uh, made sure they're all nice. New kitchens, baths, and almost all of them. New flooring, paint, windows, roofs. Did quite a bit of work on these properties. And we rented most of the units about a year ago. So that's why so many of them are coming up vacant at this time. Um, we had... You know some tenants who bought bought a house so that's great to see um, some others just decided to move somewhere else we asked another tenant to leave and not renew their lease because they had caused some problems and we'll show you that unit too that's the definitely the ugliest unit and then we had another crazy situation with the studio on why they have to had to leave we'll tell you about that here in just a second but another thing that um, has happened with the complex is I was planning to resell it all along now it's a multifamily property it's been trickier selling multifamily properties because interest rates have gone so high, but the complex still makes me money because I bought it pretty cheap, but I do have a lot of cash tied up into it in repairs and carrying costs and different things. But right now it still does make me money, so I'm not in a huge rush to sell it. Well, I had someone approach me about buying it about a month ago, and I've been talking about this if you've been watching my videos, and they wanted the property vacant. They want all the units vacant, in fact, they wanted us to try and get the units vacant faster, but we never got an offer from them. And I'm like, hey, if you guys give us an offer, if we get something solidly locked up, maybe we'll consider trying to speed some of these up. But until we get that, I'm not going to do anything special. We'll see what happens. And so most of these became vacant. We still have two occupied, as I said. And um, every week they kept saying, oh, we're going to bring an offer. We're going to bring an offer. We're going to bring an offer. Still no offer and then um this last week i hadn't heard from them for a while but we have been advertising these these um, units for rent too because i don't want to just keep them vacant for months and months and months for this uh, mystery buyer uh and then um we had two applicants apply at the complex uh we told the buyers hey we've got two tenants who want to rent this place we need an offer and like oh we're we want to make an offer but our our main buyer's out of town and he can't do anything for a week and a half i'm like okay um, that's fine. And so we, we signed two tenants. We've got two new tenants coming into the complex pretty soon. And if the buyer, um, still want it, then that's on them to see if they can negotiate something to have them move out. Otherwise, uh, we might be keeping the complex for a while. So, uh, we haven't had many coins here at the complex for my kids. My kids own a washer and dryer here, a coin off washer and dryer because it's been, you know, so empty, but with new tenants, um, that will help. We'll get some more coins in there. And we'll see if these people really want to buy something or buy the complex. Um, you know, you could probably negotiate something with those tenants, pay them something and say, hey, sorry, uh, if you're willing to accept, you know, some money and break your lease, uh, we would do that. But that's up to the tenants to decide whether to do that or not. Um, this is another unit, by the way, we're walking through that um, was also vacant, um, really good shape. They, the tenants cleaned this one. It was in fantastic condition. Here was another one that went vacant, but this one um, had lots of holes in the walls, lots of stuff in it. I was actually on vacation, so I couldn't show everyone what it looked like right when it was vacant. 
and we had to have our guys go through and do a little bit of work on this one. So, and this is actually the one we thought would be left in the best condition, but that did not happen. Still not in bad shape, could be way worse, but um, we did have to go in there and do some work. So in a situation like that, a situation we have to do a bunch of cleaning, you know, we'll, we'll have someone go in there and clean, have our guys patch holes, and then we'll just deduct however much that costs us from the deposit, give them back the rest of the deposit in that situation. When they're left in you know clean, great condition, we give back the whole deposit. So um, that's what we're doing in this situation. So we have two new tenants moving into the complex already. And we did raise rents just a little bit. I think the studio or the one bedrooms are now $1,000 a month, which is extremely affordable in our market, extremely affordable. So those have had no problems renting. Um, the two bedroom, I think we're asking, is it 12? hundred or twelve fifty I'm not sure for rent we've got a small two bedroom and then we've got another three bedroom that's rented and like I said the house is rented too and the studio we'll show you here just in a second what it looks like after um, we've had all these move outs but before we get to the studio here is the one you may have seen we had to call the police twice to get these tenants out it was definitely the worst one it's hard to see in the video but um, after going back and looking at it again there were cigarette marks in the floor uh, the blinds were pretty messed up. They had, they might have replaced those blinds, to be honest. Um, there was hundreds of patches on the wall where they had must have patched holes they put in the wall. Uh, trash everywhere, pretty disgusting. Of course, their excuse for not leaving was they were cleaning. We can see how well they cleaned. But they had come, turned in keys in that same night, went back to the apartment, were hanging out. I could see it on my cameras. Didn't leave. Had to call police twice. That's them actually finally leaving. And so uh, I have a full video on that, if you missed it. Um, very interesting video. So <laughs> this is definitely the worst one. We'll have to go through here, replace some flooring, possibly paint the whole thing. Um, I'm not sure if there are any other. There's a hole in the wall we'll have to show, or we'll have to repair as well. Who knows what that was for. So this one's definitely the worst one. Again, could be way, way worse. And with the complex, it's going to be some of the cheapest rent in the area. We knew there would be more turnover, more issues in a property like this. That's just That just comes with the territory. And that's one reason why I plan to sell it and not keep it. But again, it's not the worst thing in the world keeping it. And it's provided plenty of content too. So that's always nice as well. Avert your eyes if you don't like seeing a disgusting mess in the bathroom because there's one right there. Um, and then there's the hole in the wall right here. So why don't we take a peek and a look at how the studio was left. All right, we're going in the studio for the first time, see what it looks like. Oh, could be worse. Not too bad at all. Yeah, not bad, so now we have five vacant units at this property. Very tight bathroom. We had to be creative here. And um, yeah, I've been saying it for a while. Supposedly we're getting an offer on it, but I have my doubts now. So we might just be re-renting everything and keeping it. We'll see. But no, they left this in very decent shape. Weird story about this one. We'll tell it here soon. All right. So that's what the complex looks like. Here's the camera footage I saw of the tenant who wouldn't leave. This is after he turned in keys and said he was all done. This is how we knew that they're still there. But um, the studio moved out early. They broke their lease. We were okay with it. Uh, the tenant got into some legal issues. I'll leave it at that. And um, his girlfriend had asked us to let him out of the lease early. We said, yes, we'll do that. We won't charge you a fee. Obviously, they kept it in really nice shape, so that's nice. But um, tricky situation, but it's much better than trying to keep someone in there who can't pay and might trash the place. So uh, that's the situation at the complex. There's the car that was supposedly overheating and couldn't drive, and that's why they couldn't leave as well, too. <laughs> Even though it had been sitting there all night long, they still said it kept overheating, which obviously doesn't make sense. But anyway, thanks for watching. We'll have more updates on the complex. If we do get an offer, do end up selling it. Of course, we'll update you on that. We'll update you on the laundromats, those situations, the liquor store soon, our other flips, 
Um, we have lots of stuff going on. I've got my Cleveland rental property, which is vacant now. So I'm going to try and get a video of that from the property management company. That's been a crazy one. And um, yeah, it's going to be an interesting fall. That's for sure. All right. Thanks for watching. Be back soon.